Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm happy to share about a new plugin that's been released by the Metabox team. Metabox is one of WordPress's leading solutions for creating custom post types, custom taxonomies, custom fields, and working with dynamic data. Metabox was created and founded with a philosophy of being very modular. It was very developer focused. So every feature had its own extension. And this is really nice for developers because they can custom the install of Metabox to just only those features that they need to include. However, for power users and end users who weren't developers, dealing with a lot of different extensions was cumbersome. And now the Metabox team has released a solution for non-developers that streamlines our workflow while still allowing developers to proceed and use Metabox in the very modular fashion. Let me show you what I mean about the different pieces, extensions of Metabox that were needed. Now with Metabox, you've always been able to create for free custom post types, custom fields, custom taxonomies, add relationships between post types. All those features have been available for free, but they involve multiple extensions. For example, here is the core framework Metabox plugin that has the code and the functionality for custom fields. So if you wanted to create something with Metabox, you'd start with this core framework plugin, install it. Then you'd go to another plugin, Metabox custom post types and custom taxonomies. You would install this to have a user interface for creating custom post types and custom taxonomies. Then to create custom field groups, you would go to the Metabox website and use their online generator to generate the code for the field groups. This was kind of cumbersome. And then if you wanted to work with post relationships, you would install yet another plugin, the relationships plugin. What they've done now is they've released a new Metabox Lite. If we go to the page for Metabox Lite, it's now a single plugin a single plugin that provides the UI for all of the free features of Metabox. I think they're building up their mailing list, so they want you to add your email. As soon as you do that and click download, then you'll download the Metabox Lite plugin. If we go to the extensions page in Metabox, you know they have premium extensions, but if we look at the free extensions, we see here's a pods migration, a Divi integration, toolset migration, ACF migration, right? Elementor, Beaver Builder integrations, and so on, right? Some of these we've talked about. I've got a testing site here. And if we go to plugins, I've downloaded and installed the Metabox Lite plugin already. And then we get this kind of mini version of the Metabox All-in-One. If you're a pro user, you know that they have a plugin called Metabox All-in-One, which will give you all of the extensions there that you can turn on. So here, if we go to the dashboard, you know, they have links to their other products and to their website, to documentation and support. Okay, if you want to create post types, here is the UI for creating a custom post type, right? The thing that the user interface like you've seen in the past. Same for taxonomies. You have the UI for that. And for custom fields, this is new. They've taken a version of their Metabox Builder, which gave you a user interface on your website for creating the custom field groups. And that is also included in this Metabox Lite. So that is a nice feature of this new release. And this Metabox Lite, it gives you access to all of the free features. Now, some of the premium features of Metabox, the premium extensions, you know, you won't have access to, of course. But let me show you if we go for example, and install ACF. 
and we activate it. Now we go to look at Metabox, you see it's enabled contextually aware, the ACF migration feature. So that's my look at this new Metabox Lite plugin. I'm really happy to see it. I think that it will contribute to the adoption of Metabox as it removes some of the bumps in the road or hurdles that non-coders had to deal with. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.